What you're seeing is the initial setup screen for Web3 Enabler on Salesforce. Installation is simple. After installing from the App Exchange, you just have to create a singular permission set for the integration user, granting it access to the connected app. Salesforce security measures do not permit managed packages to grant access to the connected app in a permission set. We create a new permission with access to a connected app. The system will support granting permission to the integration profile, but this is deprecated by Salesforce, so we encourage you to create this permission. We will now create a user account for Web3 Enabler. As you'll see, the user is granted two permission sets, the Web3 Enabler integration user managed permission set and the connected app permission set we created above. The connected app permission set must be set by the admin for security reasons. For security reasons, even in the demo, we are setting the passwords on another browser window. Full instructions are in the installation guide, but some basic instructions are included in the post-install page. 